Hello. Uh, so this week I thought I might just do a bit of vlogging and I'm probably just going to show you what we are making to eat for this week and today is Sunday and we are making the basil pesto pasta which is our favorite dish to make and eat and we named our dog pesto so you know. from home and it's about seven in the morning. I'm just gonna take out the mints. We're having little um mints and green beans for supper. So I'm just gonna add the mints to defrost. And then we have frozen green beans that I had before and then we're just gonna add some garlic and chili, fresh garlic and fresh chili and some salt and pepper to it and rice. Hope there's some rice and some rice to there and with some rice and that is what we're gonna do it's a very simple um, it's actually one of our favorite meals to eat um, mint and rice I'm just making me some coffee let me show you guys some filter coffee it looks a little weak but it's okay I drink my coffee black so I don't like it extremely strong, but I, it also can't be too weak either. Uh, so, yeah. I know, I need to wash my hair, but that's for another vlog. I'm sitting in my car. I just got back from taking it to get a few things fixed. And um, I just thought I would update you on what's been happening in my life. Um, I know today just been <laughs> really difficult. I started a new job about, um, let's say, eight weeks ago, something like that. Six, six weeks ago, seven weeks ago, something like that. And um, it's been really great. I really enjoy my job. I am working what I am working in the field that I studied. If that I just give some background to it. And it's been it's been hectic to get back into the swing of things, but it's also been good. And I've been learning so much. And every day is just new challenges, new things to sort out. And yes, yeah, so I've been really it's been really good. But on the other hand, other things have been happening that it's just been like, I don't know, have you ever had that moment where you are making so many decisions and you have to think about so many things? I have absolutely no makeup on. My hair is chilling in a bun. It looks terrible. I need to wash it. I need to do a bunch of things. But I'm so emotionally exhausted and... Um, I've had a lot of anxiety around decisions that I want to make in my life and things that I would like to do or need to do about whether I should do it or not. And um, I think that's normal to have that type of feelings and be unsure of stuff. Because you know like when you're making decisions and you're like, am I old enough to be making these decisions for myself? That's, that's kind of where I feel I'm at. Um, although I make the decisions anyway, those are kind of like my thought patterns that I'm having. And it's been, it's been really difficult and I have been praying a lot about everything and 
a lot of particular decisions in my life. Um, yeah, life is not easy. COVID has been really intense. Um, my colleague passed away last week and um, yeah, it's been hitting a lot closer to home and um, a lot more people are getting it and it's just, it's not a joke. It's not, it's not something that we can be like, oh, if you get it, cool, you'll recover or anything. Like, people are dying from it and it's been really hectic. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I just thought I'm gonna update you on those things. My life has been, I feel like it's so busy. Luckily, I'm working from home, so I'm happy about that. Um, I get to work from home, but that doesn't mean that my day is any less stressful. The only thing that's not stressful is that I don't need to drive in and out of the office. I literally sit at home, everything's from home. I still dress up. I still, well, not dress up, but I mean, sometimes I put makeup on sometimes. But generally, I'm not really wearing makeup. Um, but I'm doing a lot of work, and it's it's hectic. I'm enjoying it, but I'm also really tired. I can't wait for the long weekend, and I just want to sleep. Do you know when you feel like you need three weeks of sleep? That is how I feel right now. for work you guys already know I'm working from home I just put my hair up into a pineapple because well it's easier to brush my teeth like this and then do that and now brushing my teeth sounds so like not the best um, I'm just gonna put you guys here um, let's see if you guys will stay like that okay so I purchased this um, simple from the skim it is a uh, micellar cleansing water and with this it's 45 rand for this where the garnier is almost a hundred rand so for me I think this is a great buy and I've just been using it as a first cleanse in the morning to clear my face and take off all the lotions and whatever creams that I put on the night before and this is how I do it so I have one of these, this is, uh, it's a finger, is what it's called, and um, I bought a pack of them at Discam for this, you can also buy Discam, for, I think it was 40 Rand, so all I do is I just put it on to it like that, um, I just squeeze out the excess water, and then I just rub it all over my face to clean my face. And this is before I brush my teeth because um, I don't like to leave it sitting on my face. You guys already know I'm not a fan of having micellar water um, on my face. Just like, even though they say you don't have to clean it off, I just do this every morning to take off whatever um, stuff I've put onto my body. I also clean my neck because... I feel like it can get really dirty and stuff, so yeah, and then I brush my teeth. So, pineapple is gone and I'm putting on my, um, I have my Alice band on that I got from Willy's. It was on the Willy's sale about, is it last year? I think I paid 40 odd rand for it or something like that. Ridiculous. I really like it. I might actually have to bring it forward a little bit. This is what my hair looks like. It's day three, I think. Day three. Oh, can you even put on your Alice band properly? I like to have like a little bit like that. And then just my hair sticking out. And then it's still looking really cute. I might have to just redo it. But all the fun. It's my half day today. Even though I'm working from home, I still have to start at 8 and end at 5. But today I end at 2, so I'm happy. My dogs are going a little crazy because they're hungry. So I'm going to go feed them really quickly. 
going to show you a few things. I did not purchase all of these stuff in one go, but um, I thought I'd explain it. The dishwasher's on, so if you hear the little whoosh sound, it's the dishwasher. So I'm just going to go through all of it. First things first, this little crate container, what is it, basket, crate, is it a crate, I don't know, whatever it's called, I bought it at, ooh. oh goodness, it's at, it's collapsible, so I bought this at um, Typo, it was a hundred rand for this size, they do have a smaller size and I think a bigger size than this, but it is so cute, I just wanted something to hold all my stuff, so I put this into my, um, I put this into my cupboard and I, it just holds all my sunscreens and whatever I use on a daily basis. And then I'm going to go through the products that I've purchased and yeah. First things first, I got this from Tiani Lee. I already opened it, sorry. But it's a it's a microfiber towel. What is that? I don't know what it's called. It's like a hood thing. So you, I put my hair like that in it and then wrap it around. And then it kind of like ties like that on your head. I'm really excited to use this. I've been eyeing a microfiber towel for ages because it, um, I've been using, i just been using a t-shirt. So yeah, I really like it. It's 85 Rand. So you can go, you can check out her, her shop on Instagram or Facebook. And then I also bought these, she calls them skinnies. So these are the satin scrunchies but they're just like thin thinner ones i really really like them i'm currently wearing a black one right now but these are really cute i think it was 40 rand or 20 rand for two or 40 rand for four something i don't know do something like that 40 rand for four i think i could be wrong but i'll link her instagram down below and then you can find out for yourself I also bought these really cute like clips so um, I'm actually gonna take my hair down and show you the hairstyle that I have been rocking these past couple of weeks so my hair is very sticky my hair is all messy as you can see it needs to be washed so you can see how dry my hair is and really not the best so I've been using these clips as like a a little thing like this just to keep my hair out of my face I obviously do a lot better job than what I'm currently doing but this is so cute and I like the the clips it's been I've been looking for it for ages so when I saw this at at this game I decided I'm just gonna buy it oh my hair looks terrible I'm just gonna buy it it was 40 rand for six and um, I already showed you the simple micellar water. I also picked up the simple moisturizing, light moisturizing, light moisturizer from um, this game. This is what it looks like. It's this cute little bottle. And um, I really like it. I only I use it at night. It's I just needed a moisturizer. I didn't need anything intense. And I really, really like that. Okay, on to hair products. I'm really sad because my hair products, I have finished most of my hair products. So I just have my shampoo and conditioner and I was struggling to find a, um, I was struggling to find something that was good enough for me or like it worked well. So I've purchased a few new products specifically for that. This is the Jamaica Show Moisture Jamaica Strengthen and Restore Treatment Oil. It's with peppermint and shea butter and apple cider vinegar. I have been wanting to buy this since I think last year I saw it, and then I was like, I so want to buy it. I've used it for I've used it twice already, and it's it smells really nice. It's not like too bad. It feels really great on my hair. I want to try like a deep conditioner. The way well to do a deep conditioning mask the way that they explain it on here we have to put like a shower cap on and all of that vibe oh, shower cap i need to show you my shower cap so <laughs> i'm gonna show you my shower cap just wait i'm gonna show you my shower cap okay so i'm back it's my shower cap look how cute this is it has a bunch of daisies and it's pink clearly you can see i'm in a pink theme for the past couple of months 
I've never felt the need to wear a shower cap. I've never owned one. Um, I might have worn one once or twice or something, but it's never been something that I'm like, oh, I need a shower cap for when I shower. I usually just put a headband on and then shower if my hair gets wet, okay. But recently my hair, I've been like, it's been so wet and I don't like my hair to be wet when I go sleep. So I purchased a shower cap, this is really cute. Um, but it's like, although it like, it expands quite a bit, it doesn't really have a lot of um, space, like this side, this way, width, depth, I don't know. So, and it smells very much like the, like if you put in an, a pool inflatable out and it just has that plasticky smell, this is what it smells like. It was 20 odd rand at this game, I picked it up and I thought it's really nice. So if you have more hair than me, like I can't do a bun like this because then like it just, it'll pull the shower cap up and then my, the back hair will be exposed. So I kind of do like a low-ish bun so that it fits over. So if you have more hair than me, this might not work for you, but it works for me, so I'm happy. And then, so this is the treatment. I'm gonna try and do a review on this by itself. I'm really excited. Whenever I do any sort of reviews or want to do research and I search like things for curly hair goal, this is definitely, it comes up every single time. So I'm really excited about this. There's a lot of good reviews. And then I also picked up um, the Strictly Calls lotion. You guys already know that I love the, um, the foam, the treatment foam. So I decided I'm gonna give the Call Defining Lotion a chance. It smells divine. You know that, you know I love the whole like lemony, citrus flavor. This smells absolutely divine. And I'm wearing my friend's t-shirt. I cut the color off. I'm wearing my friend's t-shirt. I've been in a massive friend's vibe. I'm re-watching friends ever since the reunion. So any chance that I get, I'm watching friends. So I'm super into wearing my friend's stuff. So yeah. Another thing that I picked up was the Lee Stafford Air Blast Dry Foam. Um, I've only used it once or twice. I'm still trying to figure out if I like it or not or if it's working for me, but it's not bad. And this hot pink color, I'm all for like this hot pink color. I mean pink, like seriously, pink. Pink. And then pink. I picked up this cake, the Wave Maker as well. It's a sugar infused spray. I don't know if I like it. It is a texturizing beach spray. So it does dry. It does feel a little like, you know, it gives your hair that little bit of a feeling. I don't know if it's making my hair sticky, but I'm trying to like mix it with water and try it out. I do like the way my curls are looking. My curls are looking really soft and they're actually like doing this kind of a weird wavy curl, which looks really, really good. So I'm super excited about this as well. And then, yeah, that's it, and the pink as well. All my pinkness is making me feel so good. And I'll be 30 in a few months, in October. So I'm planning my 30th birthday, and I've been looking at clothes and presents and things that I want to do for it. I'm very excited for my birthday. It's kind of like a new thing to be excited for my birthday. But I want to go all out and really celebrate because I'm turning 30 and I think it is, this year has been, it started off really, really crappy and it's just gotten a lot better. And yeah, so I am happy for my birthday and I'm gonna make it one to remember. So yay me.